Hello guys, welcome back again to Sami Photography. In today's video, we are going to learn how to retouch using high-end process. So welcome, welcome back again to this channel and thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and please smash that like button so that our video is recommended by youtube so firstly we are going to make a layer copy or a background copy by pressing ctrl j or by dragging this background layer to this plus icon and firstly you are going to remove these blemishes all these pimples in the model's face by using of spot healing brush so and i hope all you know how to use spotting heal spot healing brush so we are going to first use it to clean our face so that we high end when our face is looking somehow good. Try to take your time while removing these spots or you can use this patch tool by sampling the area and drag it to the clean area you can also do the same as spot healing tool So after, so after you have cleaned your face and it's looking somehow good, just make another layer by pressing Ctrl J. So make sure that you rename this middle layer low. And this first layer up high. So after renaming them, come and make the high layer or oh, disable the visibility of the high layer by removing this eye icon and the layer. So after removing it, press in this middle layer, low layer, and come to filter, then bra, then brush and blur. So here you have to you have to select the radius which will be favorable which will be favorable for the use of the process so I'm going to use to select 2.0 I hope it will give me the best details so after that after I have selected the aggression blur come to this layer which we named the high then make it visible and then come to our image and then scroll down to our prior image so here in this section of layer make sure that you select the low layer or this middle layer 
the low layer and the branding mode come and select subtract because we are we are dealing with the 8-bit photo so we are going to use subtract so if we are if we were using so if we were editing the photo of 16 bits we would have used the addition branding or the add branding so on the scale come and put two then the offset make it 128 and press ok so come here to this branding mode and look for linear light so after selecting the linear light come to this middle layer or the low layer and disable and disable this visibility of the high layer by moving this high icon on it so we are going to use the mixer brush tool to give us the best when applying the high end process so select the high the mixer brush tool make sure that the brush is a clean brush or the clean brush is selected and make sure that the weight is 9% then the load then the mix and flow as it is seen right now so after selecting that and make sure that you select the the soft rounding brush so after that come and start brushing the model's face by pressing or by left clicking and hold then start to brush our model's face and make sure that it is brushed well and collected and you need to take your time while brushing to avoid mistakes so let me check and see the result as you can see our photo is looking somehow good So go on and brush each and every part of the skin you see, apart from the eyes and the hair. So brush it correctly to avoid the loss of details and take your time while brushing to get the best results. Brush, go on and brush. Take your time while brushing.
as you can see our photo is looking somehow good though we haven't finished Brush the skin correctly. Take your time while brushing and try to be careful and avoid brushing on the clothes so you have to zoom in the photo and brush on the skin only as you can see the way I'm doing it I hope now it's, it's ready. And make sure that Make sure that you don't leave some some parts unbrushed. And I hope right now you can see. So after brushing, make a group. I think you can see the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. As you can see, this is the before and this is the after. So after that, try to Merge it and make another copy. Or you can play around with the opacity when you see that the details are too much. You can play around the opacity after making the group. And I hope 95 is 
will be good so make another copy and right now you can go to camera row You can play to the highlights and whites and some sorts of black and then cont contrast. To get get the best out of it can reduce on the reds when they are too much And you can see our before and after. This is our before, then after. This is our before, this is after. And I think you have learned how to use high-end process to retouch your headshots and photos and I hope it was a good video see you soon into another video and if you haven't subscribed subscribe so that you don't miss my next video goodbye